Hello everyone. On my previous video, I was uploaded question number two, which is I took from exercise 1C Math Link Book 8. You can see here. Now, question number three, I'm going to factorize this question. So look at question number 3A x square minus 2lx plus 36 i told you before also a first and a last one if we convert in the form of whole square always we have to use formula of a square minus 2ab plus b square so we can write in a minus b whole square if equation in the term of a square plus 2ab plus b square then we can write a plus b whole square so number question number two which i uploaded and this question number three related with the these formula of a minus b whole square and a plus b whole square so let's take a start look at here first of all we have to convert first one in the form of a square minus at last one in the place of 36 we can write here 6 square 6 square means 36 now at the middle we can write 2 a b 2 in the place of a here is x so x in the place of b here is 6 so 6 now you can see here 2 into 6, 12, 6 square means 36. So this is in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square, formula of a minus b whole square. So x minus 6 whole square. We have to convert in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square. So we can write a minus b whole square. Hope you understand this. Now this one look at here. Now a square is already here 4 square root of 16 means 4 4 square means 16 so first and last one we can convert in the form of whole square so we have to use this formula a square minus 2 ab plus b square always convert this equation in this form so a whole square minus and 16 means 4 whole square we can write at the middle 2 ab 2 in the place of a means a in the place of b what is here 4 so 2 ab when you multiply 4 into 2 8 8 a 4 square means 16 it will be same now this is in the form of a square minus 2 ab plus b square in the place of a here is a only but in the place of b here is 4 so we can write a minus 4 a minus 4 whole square okay look at there here 4x square minus 16x plus 16 if common first of all we have to take common and after that either convert into formula convert or use um, or factorize or convert into formula as always you can do anything so here common is 4 remaining x square minus 4 into 4 16x plus 4 you can factorize also by multiplying 4 while adding 4 2 into 2 4 2 plus 2 4 you can do in that process also or you can convert in this formula pattern 4 x whole square minus and at the last 4 means 2 whole square because we can convert first a and b in the form of square at the middle we have to write on 2 a b 2 a means x b means 2 now look at here 2 into 2 4 x x 2 square means 4 so we can write this is in the form of a square minus 2 a b plus b square formula of a minus b whole square so we can write x minus 2 whole square hope you understand this three question now look at another three okay here if common first of all we have to talk common but here is nothing common so convert first and last one in the form of whole square here is one so we can write one square and at last one 4p square means we can write 2p whole square now you can see here this is in the form of a square and last one b square at the middle we have to write down 2ab so 2 in the place of a what is here 1 in the place of b what is here 2p so we have to write here 2p now look at here 2 into 2 4 p p 2 square means 4 p square p square now this is in the form of a square minus 2 a b plus b square formula of a minus b whole square so we can write 1 minus 2 p whole square a means 1 b means 2 p a minus b whole square don't forget this formula a square minus 2 a b plus b square formula of a minus b whole square so this is in the form of a square minus 2 a b plus b square formula of a minus b whole square Hope you understand this now look at this one here uh, nothing common here is 4 12 and 9 if common first of all we have to take common and after that either use formula or factorize so here nothing common so we have we can convert this one and this one first and last in the form of whole square square root of 4 means 2 we can write 2p whole square minus and last one here is 9q so we can write 3q whole square a square minus and last one b square now at the middle what we have to write 2ab 2ab 
so 2 what is the value of a a means 2p and value of b means 3q now you can see a 2 to the 4 4 3 is a 12 12 is here 3 square means 9 q square q square now this is in the form of a square minus 2 a b plus b square formula of a minus b whole square in the place of a what is here 2p so we have to write 2p minus in the place of b what is here 3q so we have to write on 3q whole square a minus b whole square hope you understand this now look at this one question number f um, first one first one we have to convert in the form of whole square last one we have to convert in the form of whole square and we have to write 2ab so we can write here a b whole square minus and last one in the place of 4 we have to write 2 whole square hope you understand we got value of a a means what a b and value of b means 2 at the middle what we have to write 2 a b so 2 what is the value of a here a b okay value of b means what is here 2 so 2 we have to write now look at here a square minus 2 a b plus b square formula of what a minus b whole square i wrote here already a square minus 2 a b plus b square this is the formula of a minus b whole square so what we have to write here a minus b in the place of a what is here a b minus in the place of b what is here 2 so a b minus 2 whole square hope you understand this uh, sixth question now Remaining look at three questions. Look at question number G. 3y square minus 54y plus 243 is here. So now you can like before we cannot do. We cannot convert this one and this one in the form of whole square. A square root of 3. This one is sorts. Okay. We cannot convert in the uh, form of whole square. So in this time we have to look. Is there anything common? if common we have to take common and after that either factorize or we have to convert in the form of formula of a square minus 2ab plus b square or a square plus 2ab plus b square here is minus so definitely we have to convert in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square so first of all we have to take common now how to take common i'm going to teach you look at once here is 3 so 3 54 3 is here so 3 1 3 we can write 54 54 look at here 2 2s are 4, 2 7s are 14, after that 3 9s are and 3 3s are. After that what is here? Next one is 2 43. We have to divide by 3, 3 8s are 24, 3 1s are 3. After that 3 2s are 6, 3 7s are 21. After that 3 9s are, 3 3s are. So what is common in all 3 terms? 3, 3, 3. So common is 3. We have to take common 3. And remaining what is here? y square minus 3 into which number it will be 54 3 already common so what is here 3 3 is 9 2 is 18 it means 18 3 18 is 54 y plus 3 already common from 2 43 3 is common so what is remaining 3 into which number it will be 2 43 you can divide this two so you will get this answer or you what are the remaining elements here 3 3 is 9 3 3 is 9 9 9 is 81 so 81 now look at here can we convert first and last one in the form of whole square yes we can convert so we can write here y whole square minus and last one in the place of 81 we can write 9 is square 9 is square means 81 in the place of a here is y square in the place of b here is 9 square at the middle what we have to write 2ab 2a means what is here y b means what is here 9 so when you multiply this to 2 9s are 18 9 square means 81 now you can see this in the form of a square minus 2ab plus b square formula of a minus b whole square so we can write y minus 9 whole square a minus b whole square hope you understand this question now look at this one uh, 576 minus 48x plus x square what is the square root of 576 we have to and the square root of 576 is 24 24 square means 576 so we can write here 24 whole square minus and at the last here is x whole square now you can see here 24 square means 576 x square means x square now in the place of a here is 24 in the place of b here is x so at the middle what we have to write 2 a b 2 what is the value of a here 24 so 24 in the place of b what is here x now you can see here this is in the form of a square minus 2 a b plus b square formula of a minus b whole square in the place of a 24 minus in the place of b here is x so x square so 24 minus x square is the answer similarly look at here 
I told you before also, first of all, we have to take common and after that we have to factorize. So what is the common here? 27, 198 and 363. First of all, we have to take common by using 27 and after that 198 and after that 363. Same in this process, we have to take, uh, we have to find out factors, then we have to take common and after that we have to convert in the form of a square and b square at last and at the middle we have to write down 2ab. I'm going to leave this question and I need your comment. What is the answer of, answer of this question? Please comment and tell me. Hope you understand today's video, uh, today's all the questions uh, of factorization. Um, so upcoming videos related with factorization only I'm going to provide you this whole week about factorization which is very important for class 8, 9, 10. So factorization, if you don't know the factorization, it will be difficult in SCF, LCM and it will be difficult to simplify the uh, long questions, short as well as short questions also. So factorization is the basic knowledge and if you are new on my channel please subscribe like and share with your friends and upcoming videos related with factorization total six videos related with factorization are coming on my youtube channel so keep in touch press the bell button to get notification of upcoming videos hope you understand today's questions thank you so much